Right, what's going on people? Behind me is the R34 and I haven't made a proper YouTube video on that car for a very long time. But today I'm going to be doing something that I, I'm not only really excited about, but I also think the car really needs. And that's a exhaust system. I've got a catback exhaust for the car. It's inside the car right now, so let me get it out and I'll show you guys. The car's so dirty, but it also looks so good. Um, I don't know if I've actually shared this car on YouTube since doing the Nismo stripes, but I recently bought Nismo stripes for the car, so the one that goes in the bonnet and also both sides of the car. Oh my god, bro. That's heartbreaking to look at. And also the sides of the car. Um, you will see R34s with much longer ones that actually like start about there and then end at the same place but i actually got ones from a 350z which is obviously a shorter car and when they got delivered to my house i was like oh shit <laughs> but then i was like well i think it's still gonna look good so i did it anyways and i love how it's come out but more to the point show you guys the exhaust i've bought for the car here's what we have isn't that gorgeous look how oh mate i haven't even polished this but i will do at some point this is a real Blitz Naspic exhaust for an R34 GTT and I was actually going to wait until I've RB25 DT swapped my car um, to put an exhaust on it because I was like well there's no point making it loud before I make it fast but the car's just too damn quiet I mean let me give you guys a rev right now and I'll show you what I'm talking about because it's literally just like a vacuum cleaner see what I mean like it just makes loads of fan noise at the front and pretty much nothing at the back and I've had this car on the road since June this year it's now end of October and I just miss having a loud car the S15 was straight piped it was turbocharged a nice loud SR20 this is an RB20 that sounds like a Dyson Hoover <laughs> so I just think that needs to change so we're gonna go into Charlie's unit he's got a two-post lift up there I'm going to get the car in the air, get the old exhaust off and get the new exhaust on and then see how it sounds. Up we go. So for those of you who don't know, this car does need rust repairs. Um, this is the boot of the car. There's a hole there, so I'm just going to get that all replaced. Weld new metal in. And then you can't see it right now because of the lift, but the seals also need doing and the strut tops also need doing but other than that the car isn't the worst thing in the world also a new piece of metal in there would not hurt so yeah and then all the arms the rear subframe to be honest in time that's all gonna get replaced with new stuff so yeah not too bad right so now exhaust hang at all very helpful. Do you ever the times you try and cry off with a screwdriver and you start screaming? Yeah. Need one of these. Get it. In. There. Job done. I have never in my life got an exhaust hanger off so fast. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> right, so that's the stock system. Restriction. Massive restriction. That's just that. <laughs> God damn. Okay guys, I'm happy to say that this is pretty much a perfect fit. We haven't done the bolts yet, um, but perfect fit, perfect fit. Uh, I think we've got the gasket in there as well. Uh, if not, then it's probably on the floor somewhere, but we've got a gasket for that. Perfect fit onto the stock cat, which is quite funny. I've uh, got the gasket in there as well, brand new one, so that's sweet. Uh, gonna use the existing bolts to get those on, but yeah. So it's basically going from a two inch into a three inch cat back and I cannot wait to hear this. Right, here's the first start up of my Skyline with a Blitz Nurse spec cat back exhaust. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay then guys, so I'm in the car now. Um... <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's loud. But I don't know if it's loud or if it's just loud to me because I haven't been in a loud car for a long time. Pretty much since I sold my S15, I've had this car which is, well, until today had a bone stock exhaust system on it. And my Ford Focus, which is also just bone stock, that's a normal car, it's not a performance car or anything of the sort. <laughs> so this is loud. I always feel like it's louder than my S15 was. And if that's the case, sorry about the camera shake, by the way. I'm trying to drive without holding my phone because I'm not allowed to. But um, I feel like this is louder than my S15 because that was turbocharged. Whereas this is naturally aspirated at the moment. So this is literally just straight raw sound. I mean, I've still got the catalytic converter in, but. Yeah. <laughs> So I've just driven home and it, I'm not even going to lie, it's actually louder than I was hoping it was going to be. Um, it's droney, that's the problem with it, it's very droney. And driving through town, it just like the sound of it echoes off of absolutely everything. It will be better when I've got a turbo engine in there, but I'll give you guys a couple of revs. Yeah. <laughs> I am low-key sitting here thinking like, uh, what have I done? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Um, if it gets too annoying, I'll just get another mid-pipe with a resonator in it um, to quiet it down. But yeah, that's a new exhaust for the R34 Skyline. Um, RB20 DE. So yeah, I'll live with it for now, but I can change it if I really feel, feel like I need to. But thanks for watching anyways, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace out.